What's up, y'all, from Adelaide, Australia, in Second Valley. Uh, I don't know where the hell I am, but it's freaking awesome. Today's transmission. Old ways will not open new doors. New doors are opened by new thinking. New doors are opened by new action. New doors open up by pressing up against the things that we're most afraid of. You see, I hear a lot of people talking about what they're going to do in this lifetime, and I am so for that. Yes, I'm for that. But those same people are addicted to the comfort zone, and the comfort zone is where our dreams go to die. You see, if you want something new, you have to do and be something other than you have been doing. Because old ways will not produce new opportunities. So if you are wanting a new man, or a new job, or a new situation, you have to take a look. You have to peek in. You have to peek in to what you do on a day-to-day -day basis and look at your habits and break those down and choose consciously. Most people are on default. They're default operating. Oh, life is happening. Oh, I'm here, I'm there, I'm here, I'm there. I clock in, I clock out. And you scroll and scroll and scroll. But guys, if you check in, if you check in and you open up the doors, the perceptions, and you look in, to what you've taken on. Most of our habits come from our parents and their parents. And most of our habits come from what society and commercials and music is telling us. So if you can look at that and deconstruct it and choose what you want, what you desire in this lifetime, you will change the game. But that's gonna take you being a happy, mad scientist and peeking in with a little microscope. You see, a lot of the things that we want or desire in our lives come in packages that we wouldn't usually, uh, let's say, connect to. So back to old ways will not open up new opportunities or new doors. If you sit with the same coworkers every day and gossip about the same people every day and talk about what so-and-so had on, choose something new. If you go to the same clubs, read the same books, and hang out with the same people all the time, but you want and desire something different, do something different. Aristotle said it best when he said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. We are all blessed with the same 24 hours, and what you choose to do with that, your habits is the thing that separates you from somebody who you would call successful. So if you want to take your life to the next level, if you really want to go beast mode in your life, take a look at your habits. I promise you, this is a game changer. I love you guys. Thank you for taking this journey with me. If you're new to the family and you're on YouTube, click subscribe. If you're on Facebook or YouTube or anything else, share, like, comment. Guys, the only way my messages get out is by you. So I really appreciate all of you who do share and those of you who are new. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, please check them out. Ah, life is good. I am, we are, hashtag loves voice. Live love, give love, be love. Some people are more attuned to other people's energies, to the, to the pain of the world, to the joy of the world. Some people are more attuned to energies that are around them. We call them impacts. But I say that every one of us has that within us. Some of us just choose to tune it out.